John Radcliffe was an English physician, academic and politician. A number of landmark buildings in Oxford, including the Radcliffe Camera in Radcliffe Square, the Radcliffe Infirmary, the Radcliffe Science Library, and the Radcliffe Observatory were named after him. The John Radcliffe Hospital, a large tertiary hospital in Headington, was also named after him. Life Radcliffe was born the son of George Radcliffe, an attorney, and Anne Loder, in Wakefield, Yorkshire, where he was baptized on 23 January 1653. He was educated at Queen Elizabeth Grammar School and Northallerton Grammar School and graduated from the University of Oxford, where he was an exhibitioner at University College tutored by Obadiah Walker, to become a Fellow of Lincoln College. He obtained his M.D. in 1682 and moved to London shortly afterwards. There he enjoyed great popularity and became royal physician to William III and Mary II. In 1690 he was elected Member of Parliament for Bramber, Sussex and in 1713 Member for Buckingham. On his death in the following year, his property was bequeathed to various charitable causes, including St. Bartholomew's Hospital and University College, Oxford, where the Radcliffe Quad is named after him. The charitable trust founded by his will of 13 September 1714 still operates as a registered charity. Anecdotes of Radcliffe 1. Among the many singularities related of Radcliffe, it has been noticed that, when he was in a convivial party, he was unwilling to leave it, even though sent for by persons of the highest distinction. Whilst he was thus deeply engaged at a tavern, he was called on by a grenadier, who desired his immediate attendance on his colonel, but no entreaties could prevail on the physician to postpone his revelry. Sir, quoth the soldier, my orders are to bring you. And being a very powerful man, he took him up in his arms, and carried him off perforce. After traversing some dirty lanes, the doctor and his escort arrived at a narrow alley. What the devil is all this? said Radcliffe. Your colonel doesn't live here? No, said his military friend. My colonel does not live here, but my comrade does, and he's worth two of the colonel, so by God, doctor, if you don't do your best for him, it will be the worst for you. 2. To confer medical authority upon themselves, doctors of the day often published their theories, clinical findings, and pharmacopoeia collections of receipts or prescriptions. Radcliffe, however, not only wrote little but also took a certain iconoclastic pride in having read little, remarking once of some vials of herbs and a skeleton in his study, this is Radcliffe's library. However, he bequeathed a substantial sum of money to Oxford for the founding of the Radcliffe Library, an endowment which, Samuel Garth quipped, was, "...about as logical as if a eunuch should found a seraglio." Three. Physician to King William III until 1699, when Radcliffe offended the king by remarking, Why truly, I would not have your majesty's two legs for your three kingdoms. <laughs> <laughs> Medical institutions named after Radcliffe The John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford is named after John Radcliffe, as was the former Radcliffe Infirmary, now being redeveloped for academic use by Oxford University as the Radcliffe Observatory Quarter. Works <laughs> 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 Dr. Radcliffe's Practical Dispensatory, containing a complete body of prescriptions, fitted for all diseases, internal and external, digested under proper heads, Rivington, London 4th ed. By Edward Strother 1721 Digital Edition by the University and State Library Dusseldorf. Topic. Further reading Hone, Campbell R. 1950. The Life of Dr. John Radcliffe, 1652 to 1714. Benefactor of the University of Oxford, London, Faber and Faber. 
Guest, Ivor, 1991, Dr. John Radcliffe and His Trust. London, The Radcliffe Trust, 595 pages ISBN 0-9502482-1-5